in this tutorial i am going to discuss how we can calculate sum of n natural numbers using iterative and recursive approach so if the value of n is 5 then the output is 15 sum of numbers between one sum of numbers between 1 to 5 is 15 similarly if the value of n is 10 then the sum of natural numbers between 1 to 10 is 55 so uh, let's first discuss uh, the iterative approach then i'll explain how we can solve this problem using recursion so the iterative approach is straightforward so suppose the value of num is 5 then uh, here what i have done is i have declared one variable sum which has initial value of 0 then i am running a loop from 1 to 5 suppose uh, the value of num is 5 then this loop will run from 1 to 5 and in each iteration so let me explain uh, step by step so initially the value of i is 1 and i is less than equal to 5 this condition is true then the initial value of sum is 0 then sum th the value of i is 1 so the value of sum is now 1 and the value of i is incremented to 2 it is still less than equal to 5 so now 1 plus 2 is 3 in next iteration the value of i is 3 and the value of sum is 3 so it is 6 in next iteration the value of i is 4 and the value of sum is 6 so uh, then 6 plus 4 is 10 in next iteration the value of i is 5 which is less than equal to the value of num which is 5 so 10 plus 5 is 15 now the value of i is 6 is it is 6 is less than equal to 5 no so the loop terminates and we return uh, the value which is 15 so uh, this is iterative approach and it is very straightforward can we optimize it further yes we can optimize it how so the sum of n natural number is n into n plus 1 by 2 so if we use this formula then we can directly return the sum so if the value of num is 5 then we directly return 5 into 5 plus 1 divided by 2 which is 15 so we don't need to run a loop and add the value of i in each iteration so we directly return its value so these two methods are very straightforward and very easy now let's come to recursive approach so before solving this problem using recursion let me explain what is recursion recursion is nothing but a function which call itself until the base condition is reached so uh, so what is the base condition in this approach my base or terminating condition is when the value of num is equal to equal to zero then i'll return zero otherwise i'll call num plus the same uh, this method call and in each method call i am subtracting uh, one from this number so suppose if my value is five so this method call when i call uh, this method first time from main method i have passed five as an argument then num is not equal to zero so it goes into this step and this is my first step 5 plus it calls the method sum recursive with 4 so in recursion each method call is put in a stack and in a stack data structure the function the value which push in a stack uh, the value which push last in a stack is the first value to be popped out so this this method call is goes uh, goes into a pause state and in next step uh, we have uh, we have passed 4 as an argument then 4 plus again we call the method with a new value which is 3 so in each step we are decrementing the value by 1 and this method call is still goes in a pause state and in next uh, step 
we have three plus again a method called with a value in which we have subtracted one and it goes in a pause state then again two plus this method call with a new value one and after that again with one plus this method call with a new value zero so we have reached our terminating condition which is zero so uh, we get the value uh, of this method call which is zero so we return one uh, from the last step and this method call is waiting a value to be returned so it gets one now so we have returned three from here similarly this method call is waiting to get the value and it will get three from here and now it returns six similarly this method call is still wait is waiting uh, for a value to be returned so it will get six and it returned ten and now here the value get 10 and it add up at add, add 5 to it and it return 15 so after uh, all the calculation we return 15 so if I run this code let's see its output so from iterative approach so why I got 15 I have passed 10 here so let me put 5 here and now run run this program and see the output is 15 and 15 now let pass 10 to it and let's see the output and now the output is 55 so uh, these are the two approaches through which you can solve this problem and for more such programming video you can subscribe our youtube channel or you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash and thanks for watching this video